The Interior Minister, Fatmir Darfai, continues his visit in the US, today meeting with an Assistant Secretary of State and the Deputy Attorney General. Minister Darfai reiterated that the support of the US is needed for effective justice reform. Environmental pollution has been and is a major concern for residents and also for tourists. The Minister of Environment, Blendy Clausey, called on municipalities and businesses to collaborate with the state government. Today is World Fight Tuberculosis Day. 500 people are affected by tuberculosis in Albania, with two to three serious cases requiring the infected persons to be isolated. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Saturday the 24th of March 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra, bringing you the day's top stories from across the country, translated into English. On the third day of his visit to Washington, Interior Minister Fatmir Jafai was received at the State Department by the Assistant Secretary of State responsible for narcotics and law enforcement matters, Mr James A. Walsh. The discussions centred around police vetting as a part of a greater overall talk on just Justice reform. Jafai stressed that the reform has already begun to deliver the first results under the framework of the vetting process. However, according to him, the challenge remains the creation of new institutions foreseen by the reform. He went on to emphasise that it is very necessary for the US to continue to provide support and assistance and to be present, especially during the current delicate phase of the process. During discussions, Jafai informed the Assistant Secretary of State of the major priorities for his ministry. These priorities included the action plan approved by the government for the force of law operation, vetting of the state police and the fight against cannabis cultivation. Media reports that Mr Walsh sang high praises for the progress made in the reform process in Albania and the strong commitment of the current government, stressing that the position of the US has not changed and support will continue to be intensive moving forward. The US will work closely with Albania in this vital process for the country. An efficient fight against criminal groups is essential, especially regarding the sustainability of results in the fight against cannabis cultivation for the coming year. You will have all the US's support in your serious efforts in the fight against transnational crime, corruption and money laundering, stated Mr Walsh. Minister Jafai attended a second meeting at the Department of Justice with Bruce Swartz, the Deputy Assistant Attorney General, accompanied by some of the directors and executives of international projects. The two presidents, Hashim Thaci of Kosovo and Aleksandar Vucic of Serbia, met in Brussels under the framework of the new phase of Pristina Belgrade facilitated talks. For mediation, performed by the head of foreign policy in the European Union, Federica Morgarini. The parties assessed the meeting as constructive, while Kosovo President Thaci expressed optimism about a final agreement being reached within the year, bringing with it a secure European future for both countries. Both countries want an agreement. It is in the interest of Kosovo and of Serbia, as well as being in the interest of the European Union's investments in the Western Balkans. I am optimistic and confident that an agreement providing peace, stability and good neighbourly relations between our two countries can be reached. The agreement on the full normalisation of relations between our two countries is perhaps seen as unattainable now. I know it will be very difficult, but it is the only way, and I believe it will be achieved, was the position of Hashim Thaci. Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic, speaking after the meeting for Serbian television Pink, reiterated that the EU integration condition cannot undermine Belgrade's national interests. Serbia is on the European path, but it will not ruin its national and state interests so that some in Europe and the rest of the world are satisfied. The range of actions may be very narrow, but Serbia must continue to fight. We will not recognise Kosovo's independence, declared Aleksandar Vucic. Meanwhile, during his stay in the US, the Serbian president announced that in April he will present a platform for solving the Kosovo issue, but that it also needs the support of the international community. Regarding the theories thrown in accusation by opposition forces in Serbia, as well as some European media, that the two presidents have conducted private meetings during their stay in the United States, Thaci and Vucic have both denied the claims.
Customs tariffs for Albanian exports towards Kosovo continue to remain an obstacle to trade between the two countries. According to Instat data, February saw the exchange of goods undergo the greatest reduction at about 16%. President of the Albanian Export Centre, Alban Zusi, regards this as a seasonal change, but also raised concern over the high value of the customs tariffs, which amount to a value of 240 euros. Despite the promise of facilitating trade between the two countries, Zusi says that nothing has yet been made concrete. Meanwhile, barriers to trade with Macedonia by exporters are considered to be of an artificial nature. The decline of the euro is putting Albanian exporters in difficulty, requiring immediate analysis from the state. According to Instat, the countries with which exports have seen the largest decrease during February 2018 are Kosovo, down 16.1%, Macedonia, down 29.8%, and Serbia, down 1.5%. Environmental pollution not only became a concern for tourists visiting Albania, but also a risk to the residents themselves. Minister of Tourism and Environment Blendi Clausi, during a meeting held in the district of Laura, sought cooperation between the municipalities for waste management, while also stressing the need for business involvement in the cleaning project. To turn Albania into a tourist destination, we need to determine the cause of the pollution and then to concentrate on the work to solve this issue. But this is a job that belongs not only to the central government, but undoubtedly is it is difficult enough that it must be solved in collaboration with local government. So we need good coordination between the factors and actors and have the opportunity to include business as well, stated Minister Clausi. Important for Clausi is also the behaviour of the inhabitants of Albanian society towards the environment. The minister went on to request the denunciation of abusers. We as the government will do our utmost to improve the legislation, but we really need to also focus on civilian education and make this a civilian reaction to the crisis, said Blendi Clausi. On the other hand, Deputy Minister Ornella Ciucci requested the concrete determination of the landfills that will serve for the next five to ten years. We are working to clearly define the points in which each municipality will have in the next five to ten years to come for depositing urban waste. This is to ensure that urban waste does not go into the rivers anymore, added Ornella Ciucci. Today is International Fight Tuberculosis Day. Malnutrition, poor living conditions and weak immunity are the main reasons one may become more susceptible to contracting tu tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a chronically infectious disease caused by the bacteria of the same name, which mainly affects the lungs. 500 people have been affected so far in Albania, with 16 new cases arriving in 2017, of which two or three cases are particularly serious, requiring the isolation of the infected persons. Patients in the hospital are treated with all necessary medications, advised Silva Lala, the head of the pneumology service at Shevchet Ndrochi Hospital. Minister of Health Ogerta Manastir Liu, as well as the director of the Shevchet Ndrochi University Hospital, both confirmed that the fight in this resistance of this disease is worldwide. The hospital now offers the latest examination technology for the diagnosis of the disease that affects a broad range of organs, including the lungs, bones, kidneys, thyroid and more. The examination is performed free of charge and, according to the Ministry of Health, the flux of patients can be handled. Examination is free of charge for patients. There will be no issues in handling the flow of patients, continued Minister Liu. Tuberculosis is, is transmitted by contact with a person who is ill with the active pulmonary form of the disease and the appearance of visible symptoms usually onsets after two to ten weeks. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and have a lovely weekend.